What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the iPhone XR. Now, the last time I used an iPhone personally was the 3GS. I've owned all Androids ever since, and I've been using my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus for the past year and a half now, and this is the first time I've been able to pick up one of these new iPhone 10s. So I'm pretty excited to share this with you guys. Now I know there's been a lot of controversy about the screen on this thing, and I personally have not seen this uh, up close in person other than what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm pretty excited to see how well this screen holds up on this new device. So let's go ahead and get unboxed. This is the black version, it's a 128. Got your cards, your SIM ejector tool, stickers, the huge. Wow, very nice. Now I know a lot of people are really upset that Apple does not include the quick charger. And I must say I definitely agree with everybody because uh, Samsung, OnePlus, they all come with their quick charging chargers. I'm, I'm pretty sure Apple's just being greedy on that one. I mean, when's the last time you saw a different brick? I mean, I think I had the same brick when I had the iPhone 3GS, so that's pretty outdated. You should definitely update that. And then you get your earphones, your charging cable, and that is it, no dongle. Kind of disappointed. They should definitely, for the price, I mean, you can throw in a quick charger, come on. Okay, so here we go. I take off the wrapper. Wow, that is nice. So it has a front and back glass display. It has wireless charging capabilities. The frame on this is made of aluminum to keep the cost down, unlike the regular iPhone 10s are made from a stainless steel, which I really don't mind. I, I like the stainless steel. I've always liked the aluminum uh, body, so that really doesn't matter to me. I think it looks just as good. I've always liked the bodies of the iPhone. I just really never cared for the iOS. It's too restrictive. Uh, they try to control too much. So this display is only 1792 by 828. So it's not a full uh, 1080p display. It's more like a 720. But it is still that uh, liquid retina HD display. Okay guys, so here I've inputted all my information and we've got it up and running. And I've got to say, the display does not look bad at all. I mean, I'm sure it's less sharp than maybe like a 2K display or even a 1080p display, but everything looks just fine. Um, and unless you hold a microphone up to this screen, you're probably not going to see any pixels. I mean, even when you're reading something. So let's go ahead and look online here. So, I mean, the, the camera that I'm using probably isn't doing this justice, but honestly, tell me that you can see pixels <laughs> other than what the camera is making this out to be. The, I mean, really, you, I can't see any pixels. It's pretty much just as clear as any, the iPhone 10, uh, any phone that I've ever used, it's gonna be clear enough for you to read. I mean, even the smallest text, I can't see any sort of pixelation or anything like that. So if anybody has any hesitation as to whether the display is going to look like garbage, don't. <laughs> Do not base your decision on getting this off of 
what everybody else was saying about the the display and pixelation because i'm here to tell you that you can't really tell it all unless you're holding this up to like um like a 4k or a 2k screen you're honestly not going to be able to tell perfectly fine for reading uh anything with small text let's see if we can go into the app store because that's okay so i mean look at where it says here stream music Honestly, you can still read that just perfectly fine. There's no pixelation whatsoever. Everything looks perfectly fine. I'm very happy with this display. As far as the notch goes, that doesn't bother me either because the whole front of the the, the phone is, is screen. I mean, what happened when we had the old iPhones with these huge black bars on the top and the bottom? It doesn't have it anymore. They're so small that that notch really doesn't doesn't even matter to me. Uh, the sound is incredible. Like it has this bass to it. It's not tinny and it's really loud. Like I'm so surprised. I like I said, I've been using the uh, Galaxy S8 Plus and that does not have stereo speakers. That that speaker sounds like garbage compared to this. It's this sounds amazing. So here's one of my videos. A little uh, pad here. So uh, I wanted to try this out. So like I said before, this is pretty much compatible with any- So even though this is like a 720p screen, I have it set on YouTube for 1080p. And honestly, it's pretty sharp. There's maybe only a minuscule difference between a true 1080p in this 720. I mean, if you're you're really looking for it, you're probably gonna see it, but the quality on this is perfectly fine. You don't need a 4K video all the time. I mean, I mean, you're probably buying this to save money anyway. And I'm, again, I'm gonna tell you, this screen is amazing. It's, if you hear any negative reviews about it, don't even listen to it because this picture is perfectly fine for everything that you're going to be using. Unless you're you know, a 4K connoisseur or something like that, you are not gonna be disappointed by this screen. And I love these gestures. Like, it's so easy just to do everything. You swipe up, it's so quick and smooth. I don't know, uh, coming from an Android, I gotta say I'm pretty, pretty impressed with this. I still don't like how Apple locks it down and uh, doesn't let you put the icons where you want like why 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 can't i put the icons where i want i hate that apple forces you to put it in this arrangement like if i wanted settings to be down here by itself i should be able to do that and uh, you know i'm sure there are people out there that disagree with me and i'm sure there are people out there that do agree with me but uh, that's just how i feel everybody's entitled to their opinions but so far this phone is amazing it is a little hefty, I must say. It's um, probably a little bit heavier than the regular uh, 10X, or regular iPhone 10, I'm sorry. And emojis, uh, face unlock, it's very, face unlock is very quick. So like I said, this was just my unboxing. If you guys want me to do a full review, please leave me a comment and I'll be more than happy to make that for you. The more people that subscribe and leave me comments, so the more I'll know that everybody wants me to do the review. So share, like, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.